So this video will look at how to compare two groups of individuals on one independent variable. So we'll look at parametric test for that, which is the independent samples t-test. And we'll look at a non-parametric version of that, which is the Man Whitney U. So here in my SPSS uh, spreadsheet, I've got some data. So I've got group there, which is adults and older adults. And as you can see, I've already input that data. And if I go to variable view, you'll see the name group. And then if I come over here, you can see that one refers to adult and two refers to older adult. And if I scroll over, that's marked as nominal. The other two is scores for word and non-word repetition, and they are both down as scale data. So I've looked at my descriptive statistics and tests of normality, and I know that word is normally distributed, so word repetition scores are normally distributed. So the first thing I'm going to do is compare adults and older adults on their word repetition scores. So I use a t-test. So we go to analyze, compare means, and then we go to independent samples t-test. And then in the test variable, you need to put the dependent variable that you're looking at. So that's word. And then you need to tell SPSS which column splits the data up into separate groups. So this is my group column. So it goes into grouping variable. And then you also need to tell it which numbers to look for. So you might have a situation where you actually have more than two groups. And with a t-test, you can only compare two groups at any one time. So define groups, I used one to refer to adults and two to refer to older adults. So those are the two numbers um, that define my two groups. So I click continue and then I can click OK. There we are. So this is my independent samples t-test for age, adult, older adult on word repetition. So t-test up there, so age by word repetition. And then we will just save that. Compare two groups on one independent variable. So I'll just save it. So we go back to the spreadsheet. So my descriptive statistics and tests of normality showed me that the non-word scores were not normally distributed. So I need to use a non-parametric test to compare adults and older adults on their non-word repetition scores. So for that I use the Man Whitney U. So we go analyze, non-parametric tests, independent samples because we've got two groups, adults versus older adults. And we have three separate tabs here. So the first one you see is objective and we want to customize the analysis. We want to tell SPSS or password exactly what we want to do. Then we go to fields. So this is where we tell it to look at non-word as the dependent variable, the thing to be tested. And then our group variable goes into groups down at the bottom. And then we go to settings and we're going to customize the tests and we want a Man Whitney U. And then we click run. So we'll scroll down and there we are. So Man Whitney U for age, adult, older adult, and non-word rep score. Oops. Oh, it's just shunted that up there for some reason. So we'll put the title in there. So this is Man Whitney U. Whoops. Adult, older adult for non-word rep. There we go. 
So again, details on how to interpret this output uh, will be in your worksheet. So we'll click Save and that's it.